Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new to the channel, make sure you slap, slap that subscribe button and ding that bell so you don't miss upcoming notifications of upcoming episodes. So in today's episode, I had a request um, to do a bit of tutorial on all the different tools and a bit of a carpet clean. Um, but what I'm going to do the carpet clean separate. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to show you all of those that you're new to the Kirby family. Um, how to use all the tools you've invested in a, the fantastic cleaning machine system in the world um, in my opinion and you've got a lot of tools and you obviously don't know what to do with them so I'm going to run through the tools individually and show you how they work and use it, what uses you can use them for so we'll get straight to it so we've got our carrier tools and we've got various amounts obviously I've shown you how to use this in one of my videos the inflator and deinflator I will demonstrate all the purposes for that but the first one I'm going to go through is probably my favourite one and it, for those of you who do a lot of polishing it will save you an absolute fortune so you're spending money on polish when you've literally got a duster brush now this has actually got horse hair in it so it's not going to scratch those delicate TVs or any delicate pictures or like that so we'll just jump in and show you how to use this and what you can use it for right so because we're going through the tools first up you're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to convert our Kirby into canister mode and first up we're going to grab our ones and put these ones they've got like grooves on there so when you put these together if you put them and twist them up as it weighs it won't come apart and then to take them apart just twist back and what it does is it gives it like an air suction grip and stops them coming apart so next up we've got our suction control grip so this can either go on that end so it stops you bending over to vacuum or if you need to reach you just put it on the other end and again twist opposite ways and then you can put your attachment on to reach up on the ceiling which I'll demonstrate in a bit. Also what you've got is a suction adjustment on here so if you're vacuuming any electrical equipment and you don't want it to or any blinds or any curtains that you don't want it to suction, suck up too harsh literally you're going to push that open just to reduce the suction and make it a lot easier. So what we'll do first up is we'll just jump on to the duster brush and I'll show you some uses. So to convert our curve into canister mode is quite easy. Um, all we do is we lift the lid and we're gonna wind our belt off, put the lever over and take our power nozzle off. Okay, next up we're gonna grab our hose. And we just hook her on the front there and it's as easy as that this is now in canister mode so then we'll attach and nozzle on there and twist again opposite ways it adds that suction and then I'll show you what we can do next with it so I'm pretty sure most people have got or quite a few people have got these in their house they're your blinds I hate them oh, they were the worst things we ever bought but having the Kirby makes life 10 times easier to dust them so it's going to be loud, so literally, you've got your duster brush on. Okay. And then to do the side, you just sweep it over. Same again. And that's just one use. I mean, imagine the amount of hours it would take to clean those by hand when you've literally got that tool sitting in your accessory pack. So next up we've got that arcade machine that you've either made or bought your kids for Christmas. Okay, this is one I actually made, but you can check this out on my other channel, Retro Gamer, which is a link actually on the Kirby Enthusiast page. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm also on Twitter again. So yeah, to clean your, clean your cabinet, it's literally again adjust the, no the nozzle so you can adjust the suction. So just turn the suction down and we're just going to vacuum the screen and not damage it. For 
those avid movie buffs like me, you've got a lot of DVDs, Blu-rays, as you know, they get absolutely filthy above there. So again, we can use our duster brush for that. So what I do is adjust that, just leave that on full, and then we'll turn it on. <laughs> Okay, and that's just another use. Um, like I said, it's endless what you can do with this actual duster brush. There's plenty of uses. So again, as you can see, we're based in my cinema room still. So just untwist that one, put the extension one on, and twist and twist. And then we've got these fabric picture frames. So again, I'll just lower the power, lower the again, I'll just lower the suction, and we can vac these off. So that's just another use. So next up you've got those lights with the cobwebs on, you can't reach. So again with, the, with this you can actually reach up there. So all we do is gently vac them off and this works for fans as well. You can vac fan, tops of fans off and anything up in the air. One of the use I also use it for is literally the top of my projector, just the vacuum you dust off that. I've already vacuumed this this morning, so it's pretty pointless to be showing you that. And the other use we've got is just take that off, put that other extension one back on. And if we turn it around that way, facing up. You've got ducted air conditioning, it's not the same sort of system we've got. Again, it's a bit hard, we've got 8 foot ceilings, um, 10 foot ceilings, so it's a bit hard to reach. So again, we can reach that and we just do turn it on. Also we've got tops of door frames, so again we just twist the nozzle and just do the tops of the door frames. So again you've got speakers in your cinema and you can't reach them. And it's just as simple as that. You know, like I said, you've got many tools in there, which I'm slowly going through. Um, I also use this 
um, duster brush as well for all my cinema equipment. So I'll just zoom down and show you that. So all I do is save me on polish, I just disconnect these ones. I literally just do this with the hose and the duster brush. about the suction being too much just put the adjustment nozzle on so you can reduce it and then you can back off your laser disc player or your DVD player or Blu-ray player. So again we've got our surround sound amplifier you don't want to suck any knobs off so again just reduce the suction So the next tool we've got is our wall and ceiling brush. Okay, so again all we've got is our pole with our extension ones on. And if we face that up, like so, we can do the ceilings or the walls. So you're having problems reaching those cobwebs or the corners, we've got just the tool. So next up we've got our upholstery tools um, and then we've got our turbo tools. So I'll go through the upholstery attachment first. So you can use this on your curtains. What I tend to find with this is because there's a lot of suction there you have to reduce the power. Just slap that down. Turn that round and you can do your curtains. favourite tool <coughs> is a zip brush. So I don't bother with this attachment. I just put it straight on the hose. as easy as that, so if you want to draw cleaning bills, um, you get to back them off with your zip brush and then in one, another chapter I'll show you how to shampoo them. So next up we've got our crevice tool, um, this is quite handy for the tops of skirting boards and also if you've got aluminium windows and um, the little tracks inside there, so I'll quickly show you how to use this one. We've got our wands, so it's actually slotting together, twisting opposite ways, 
it's not coming apart. So with that twist, we push, and then put our crevice tool on the end. Connect our hose. Another use, as I said, is in the tracks of the aluminium windows. So what we'll do is we'll raise the blind. It might be a bit bright, so I don't know if you'll see me it's on camera, but we'll try it. So as you can see, we've got a bit of dust here, a few cobwebs. So I mean, first of all, go over with the duster brush, which is another use for it. You can use it on your windowsills. And then next up, we'll get our crevice tool. And it's as simple as that. Five minute job. Show you again. Okay, we've still got our Kirby set up as our canister mode. Then we just grab our poles, push, twist, push that in. And then we get our surface nozzle. Let's set that on there. Oops. So with this, we can actually back back and forth. We can lower it right down to the ground, put it under our sideboards, like so. And the dog's always attacking me when I've got the Kirby X. She likes being fat. <laughs> So as you know, if you've got those dresses and it's a nightmare to back under there, so it's a case, so it's Kirby on. Again, we come to our next tool, and as you can see, she's hanging around because the vacuum is around. Um, so we use our pet groomer, which for some reason she loves. She doesn't want you to stop. Yeah, you like it. Do it again. So that's that's just another attachment. Um, obviously, I've tried on a cat once. I wouldn't recommend that. The cat didn't like it, but the dog tends to. Um, she really loves it. So that, that's just another attachment you've got. Okay, so there's many attachments. Um, this is an actual Kirby attachment. This is what I got from Kirby Needs. I'll put a link down below. 
Um, this is one that actually does blinds. Obviously our blinds are a bit wider so this, I couldn't use it, but I do find it just as easy with the duster brush to use on the blinds. So yeah, I'll put a link down below for Kirby Needs. Again, I'm not sponsored by Kirby Needs in any way, um, but yeah, check out Ken's website, he's fantastic, and that's where I get all my bits from. Right, so I've got one more attachment I actually bought, now this is a stretchy hose. Um, I haven't actually used this because we bought it when we're in the UK, and I found it was, it was ideal for staircases, because you can't obviously balance your Kirby on top of the staircases, and there's a, bit, a lot of people ridiculing it over that. I don't see why, because you can get a stretchy hose. So this, literally hooks on. And it will stretch all that way. Which is a pain. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eleven foot. So you've got eleven foot of hose. Literally when it closes back up, it's literally two, it's literally two foot long when it closes back up. Again, it's got the curvy hose, you can twist it, you can't damage it, and it just concertinas back when it's finished with. So again, this is ideal for um, if you've got staircases and you want to stand your curvy at the bottom of the staircase and vacuum it with a zip brush. Um, what I used to use deep cleaning portable back in the UK, um, I found that quite adequate, but obviously. Nothing against, I'm not being sexist or anything, but obviously the, the deep clean portable is quite heavy. So if you're a female, this is a lot easier. Um, and if you're getting old, again, it's a lot easier to vacuum your stairs with this than a zip brush. So again, it's another thing I'd recommend is the stretchy hose. So look into that, I'll put a link to So welcome back, Gerby fans. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, I hope it was really informative. I'm just trying to put stuff out there that people would enjoy. And obviously you've got a home care cleaning system that's got an abundance of tools and an abundance of uses. So I'm just hoping that this, this actually helps some people out there. Again, I'd say invest in that stretchy hose. If you find it challenging lifting the curb up the stairs, it is quite heavy at 22.4 pounds. Um, yeah, just invest in the stretchy hose. I'll leave a link below for that. And again, those of you new to the channel, make sure you slap that subscribe button and ding that bell. We're literally 103 people away from hitting the 250 mark. So if we can get those subscriptions, we can get this competition carried on um, and get them out there. And again, the more subscribers I get, the more time I can put into these videos um, because I'm having to work around work at the moment. So again, let's try and get to that 250 mark and then plod on to a thousand. So yeah, thanks for watching, it's much appreciated. And again, as I said before, without you people watching and subscribing, then there wouldn't be a channel. Um, so again, it's much appreciated. And I hope what I'm putting out there, again, is really good content and you appreciate what you're getting. So again, make sure you slap the subscribe button, ding that bell, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.